morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, we'll try that one more time. Good morning, everyone. There we go, there we go. That, that makes me feel a little bit better. So my name is Steven Hernandez and I own a business called Lampost Videos. And so Lampost Videos is, uh, we offer services that are micro uh, content, which is short form videos. You see a lot of Instagram, TikToks, 15 to 45 seconds, but also long form, which is also podcasts, live streaming, things like that. So I've worked with real estate, um, uh, realtors and that did uh, videos that are walkthroughs or even um, market updates for their YouTube channels, uh, product commercials. So if you have any sneakers or shirts or anything that you may have, uh, videography, YouTube videos and video editing. This is a list of just a few of my previous and some current clients. On the top right is um, Saul Paul. He's a music artist, Grammy nominated. So in 2022, I went to the Grammys. And so I filmed behind the scenes, all that things in the bottom left. Also, I went to South Africa with him to film a global conference in uh, Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. Uh, in the middle, I went to Mexico to film for a nonprofit that was talking about um, building sustainability for the local, uh, the local people in Mexico. And so they, they actually taught them how to build mushrooms, um, how to grow their own mushrooms, and they were actually selling it to the local um, restaurants to, to build sustainability and, and, have, um, and things like that. Uh, the bottom right is me. Uh, I won two awards in, uh, in Austin, the uh, Capital City Film Festival. And then in the middle is just a, a picture of Change Water, one of my other clients. So I say all that, but uh, really in 2012 is actually how I got into uh, in filming. So I'm a music artist. I've been doing that since I was 14. Um, if I shave, I probably look like I'm 14, but I'm a little bit older. <laughs> um, that's when I got my first camera. I was working on my master's and, and I was doing music and I didn't have a lot of money, a broke college student, to, to pay someone to, uh, to film me every time I want to make a music video. So my wife bought me uh, my first camera and I was pretty terrible at it. I was doing it as a hobby. I didn't really know what I was doing. Fast forward to 2020, uh, I lost my job. COVID hit and a lot of things happened. So my wife went to work. I became stay-at-home dad. That's my two little ones. Um, I was stay-at-home dad and homeschool, and so I had a little bit more time to play around with the camera, and it's in that point that I actually got good. And again, it was just a hobby, so it kind of, I just landed into this, and people said, wow, I like your videos, who, do, who does them? And I was like, well, I do. Well, how much do you charge? I don't know, <laughs> because it was a hobby, <laughs> right? Um, and that's really how Lampo's video started, is I just, I, I was doing something that I love doing, and now I was getting paid for it. So it was a win-win. And, um, and then we fast forward to 2021 is when we moved to San Marcos from Austin. And that was a great thing. I went from renting to owning. I went from apartment to an actual house. And, but it also had some challenges because most of my clients are still in Austin. Some are all the way up in Georgetown. And so as I'm here and all these amazing things that I've done, I want to build a home base in San Marcos. I want to lay roots here and I want to work with the locals, nonprofits and businesses uh, versus always having to rely on that. And honestly, that's that's what I did. Uh, those were some of the challenges and things that I've done is I relied on since I've been here, I relied on all my clients that were in San Marco and that were in Austin. So I didn't really do marketing because I, I wasn't very good at it. It just happened. It was word of mouth. It was friends. It was return clients. So now I'm, uh, I'm trying to build a home, uh, home base, but also um, I would love to hire somebody that would focus on lead generation and maybe focus on uh, videography while I can focus on the creative side because that's really what I love. I love putting the story together, adding all these sound effects, making people disappear, whatever it is that they're working on, and, and really telling the story. Uh, so I'm not at that point yet because sometimes with realtors or even music artists, they come to me every once a year or two times a year whenever they make a new song, they have a new, um, a new listing and things like that. So I really want to focus on how do I get clients that are consistent, but then also um, that they, they continue to, to build the local uh, people in, in San Marcos. I know that it's a little bit different. Uh, it's a little, it's a bigger college town, right? There's a, there's a lot of college students. So some of the local businesses, uh, either one, they don't have a budget or they don't know the, the value of social media marketing because they, they have clients from 15, 20 years. And so they just have the same old people coming in. Uh, so they, they're, some of them are not expanding. So that's not everyone, but uh, it's one of the things that I'm working on and saying, okay, how do I find 
my right customer? Because I know everybody needs it, but not everyone has a, a website, not everyone has a social media presence. So some of the things that I've tried uh, is joining organizations like One Million Cups and volunteering my time so I can get to know the people that know people. But really, um, my heart has always been working with nonprofits and people who are helping others. That's, that's, that's been a big, big part of what I, I've done. And then I also work with local, um, local businesses. So I've gone and I shot some videos and I did some free videos and I've done uh, a lot of different things. So I work with Jack's Burger, Everyday Phenom, Wave Fusion, um, the All Eyes on Me Barbershop, uh, Metro Flex, and a bunch of others just to kind of get my feet wet because marketing and, and cold calling and all that stuff was not my strength. That's something that I didn't really like, but I have to get used to. So I was like, well, let me go and walk into a business and say, hey, I'll do a free video for you because I hate doing that. <laughs> and, um, and so I've gotten a lot of views on them. Uh, I think the one in the bottom, we got like 6,000 views for like a 15 second clip. Um, but the views didn't turn into referrals or clients because it's just social media. It's like, oh, I like your video, but they're in another city or state or country. So it's like, okay, that's cool. It builds up my confidence, but at the same time, it's like, but I needed to turn into um, a client or a referral. So figuring that piece out as well. Uh, those are some of the things that, that, um, that are some of the challenges that I'm facing right now. Um, and then so I guess uh, with all that, I would love uh, some of your feedback and see what you think is what are some of the best ways to connect with local businesses? Um, again, uh, so I'm, I'm more of an introvert. I have to do a lot of extroverted things, but for the most part, I'm an introvert. You see, I was kind of sitting over here by myself while all of y'all were mingling and things like that. Um, but, it's, uh, but I need to get out of that shell. I know I need to grow in that, but, but also I want to find what are the good places where we can network with the right people, right? I don't want to just be like that sales guy. So that's why I don't go into that place because I don't want to feel like that. But at the same time, I want to learn and build connections with the right uh, people. And then also finding a way to balance the task of finding new clients and fulfilling their needs. Because I'll spend time finding a client, find a guy, I got a client, he said yes, then I spend time making the video and shooting the video, and then I spend time editing the video. But at the same time, then I have to repeat that cycle. So I wanna find a better way of like lead generation or maybe um, hopefully get to a point where I can hire somebody that can take some of the other things off. But, um, until I'm at the point where I can hire and have consistent clients, I have to wear all the hats. So, so those are some of the things that I would love some feedback on, and that's it. Thank you. <clears throat>